So, it's been a little while. I've been posting here and there, I try to post every Monday, and maybe you've caught those videos and maybe you haven't. But, welcome back, I'm Hale the Blacksmith, and right now we're not blacksmithing, but I still make some pretty crazy content. You've seen the thumbnail, I've been doing some pretty crazy stuff. I got engaged, which is just the craziest thing. I am so excited and looking forward to this next step in my life. It has been quite the journey and most of you may already know about it, but yeah, I'm engaged and hopefully that doesn't affect too much of the posting, but it definitely will. But I'll keep posting every Monday and you may have seen some of the posts I've been thrown out into the interweb recently, which have been my audiobook, which I don't know if you're interested at all, but I've been working on a book for six years now. It's not anything crazy, I'm not trying to hype it up, but it's something I'm passionate about, and I've been creating an audio, audio book for it. So maybe if you're interested, check out those videos. It's a pretty crazy, elaborate story about, well, I bet you can guess, a mystical, magical fantasy world full of magic and crazy cool stuff like this. So, if you're interested, check it out. It's the Chairman's Podcast. It is on this channel, the Hail the Blacksmith channel, so you can give that a watch if you're interested. We're only on chapter three so far, I think, but it's a long book, so there's more to come if, you want, if you're looking forward to it, I guess. But that's not all. I'm actually recording this in the middle of the night because I am very jet-lagged. I just got back from Japan. I've mentioned it a bit. I've posted a short or two about it. It's pretty crazy. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to go. I went and saw some pretty amazing stuff. I've always been passionate about Japanese culture and I finally got to go and see some amazing stuff. I got to go to a bunch of temples and shrines, climb some mountains, go to the cities. It was just beautiful. I landed in Osaka, traveled around there for a bit with some friends, and then we went to Kyoto for a day, and then way over to Tokyo for two days. And then we went to Mount Fuji, which was just so beautiful, and I got to see some really cool stuff there, and then back to Tokyo to fly home. I was only there for a week. It was a short trip, but we packed it full of tons of amazing things. So I'm just so grateful I got this opportunity to go, and I took some photos and some videos as you just saw, and I hope you got to catch a glimpse of the amazing world that I just got to be a part of. So I'm so grateful for that. I thank God, and I thank God for all of this. I've been able to create content, go adventure, and get engaged. I'm getting married, guys. This this buffoon who's been swinging a massive sword around is getting married. So, all in all, that's pretty crazy. We have one more little bit of uh, shenanigans that I've been doing. It is the, uh, well, I don't know, should I spoil it? Maybe? Spoil it? Don't spoil it? You guys are watching the video. I think it's clear that I'm probably going to spoil this. I'm making a massive sword. I know, that's a, a little beyond me, you know, making massive swords, swinging them around. Yeah, you never saw that one coming, but maybe you did, because I posted one short about it, and I did one live stream about it. It's the Berserk Sword. If you're watching this video, ta-da, spoiler. Actually, I should have... Ugh. I'll put a spoiler warning earlier. My bad. If you guys were wanting to keep it a secret, I guess, to yourself for the surprise. But, it's just spoilers. Yeah, we're making the Berserk Sword, well... Guts' sword, the Dragon Slayer from Berserk. It is a massive, massive sword. I don't know what the exact scaling is in the anime or the manga, but my scale is about 7 feet tall, and it's weighing around 40 pounds. It's a massive sword. I've been working on it for a couple weeks now. I'm not entirely finished, but we're getting there, and I'll be live streaming more about it soon enough. But yeah, it is... Pretty crazy. It's about 40 pounds, and I can hardly lift it. Which, I'm not saying 40 pounds is heavy, but when you span it over 7 feet, yeah, it's a little heavy. So, I've been swinging Shikai Zengetsu, which is a 20-pound sword, and I've been getting 
relatively better at it. And I'm going to keep training. I had to take a break since I got engaged and went to Japan. But we're going to get back into that hopefully soon enough. And then hopefully unlock, let's just say, Bonkai and be able to wield the Berserk Sword. But we'll see. I've got some clips here for you guys. If you guys want actual spoilers of me making it, I've got a little montage for you just to spice up the entertainment, I suppose. So give that a watch. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for a lot more, especially the next chapter of my audiobook because I'm excited about it. It's something I'm passionate about and I don't want this channel to only be blacksmithing. I mean, I love blacksmithing as you can clearly see around my room and my shop, but I want to do more than that. And I hope you guys are open and receptive to that because this is YouTube. We can post whatever we want and I'm choosing to post things I enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. And if not, I'm sorry, but I, yeah, I hope you do enjoy. And speaking of enjoying, let's play the montage. That is really all I have so far of the Berserk Sword. I don't want to spoil all of it, but it is ridiculous. It is massive. It is almost unwieldable just trying to forge it. But it's something I am crazy excited to do, and I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to it as well. So make sure you like and subscribe. I've already said that, and if you haven't already, do it. But if you don't do it, I don't really care. I know YouTube cares, but uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a little weird vlog type video, I guess, of just what's been going on. If you guys enjoy it, maybe I'll do more of this. But uh, who knows? We'll see. I plan on doing a lot more blacksmithing, a lot more of my audiobook, because I've been really enjoying that. And I'm gonna, I'm still working out how to record it and how to portray it. So maybe you'll get more than just a standard screen of literally nothing and just my voice. Maybe you'll get some animation or something of that sorts because obviously a crazy guy like me has also dabbled in animation and perhaps I'll uh, throw that in there. So look forward to that as well. And on a little bit of a less exciting note, sadly to end the video like that, but no, anyway, it's not that less exciting. It's just, I probably won't be posting as many shorts I know a lot of you came to my channel because of those, because you saw my massive sword swinging shorts, which I'll still be posting. I just don't think I'll be posting them as much right now because it's A, a lot of work, but I also don't have the time for it. And I want to dedicate a lot more of my channel to actual videos like this and live streaming, things you guys can enjoy and get excited for and not just some short 15 second clip because... I do more than just 15 seconds worth of content. I do things like this and things like that and things like that and things like a sword hanging on my roof, which you can't actually see. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'm just rambling at this point because I'm just super excited and I have jet lag, so I'm not going to be able to sleep. But if you made it this far, thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video, which will be coming very soon. As always, God bless maybe read your Bible. That's just a little Christian sprinkling on the end of this video if you stayed this long. I love you all. God bless. And I'll see you on the next one. Hail out? I don't know. I don't know how to end these things, really. I'm still new to YouTube. Also, uh, I should just end this, but thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers. I feel like I haven't really thanked you guys legit. Like, I'm talking about what's been going on. I hit 7,000 subscribers. Sorry, I'm throwing this in right at the end of the video. If you stayed this long, thank you so much. But 7,000 subscribers, guys, that is just the most ridiculous thing that's ever happened to me. I did not imagine I'd even crack 1,000 subscribers. So, arigato gozaimasu, as they say in Japanese. I probably butchered that pronunciation, so I apologize in English, which is a language I can speak. <laughs> Anyways, guys, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.